hello and welcome you all to the third video of git series and in today's video series i will be demonstrating about how to commit push and pull from github so in let me give you a give you a quick walkthrough of what we have done so far so we have seen what is git and all the uh, version control system and along with that we have seen uh, differences between local version control system distributed version control system and central centralized version control system along with that we have seen what is what is the git uh, workflow okay so in today's video series we will see how we can commit the code we can push the code and we can pull the code from github okay so i have already shown you how to install git on ubuntu server so i am using uh, the same ec2 instance for that i have installed the git in this only so you can see so this is the git version currently i am using for that it can change at the time of recording this video i have this git version so now let's just go ahead and let's just configure the git means uh, we can initiate how to initiate git so for that uh, let's create a like this is simple web app okay so this is my uh, work directory right where i will be working and uh, keeping all my codes so if you can see okay so once i am in directory uh, we i have to initialize git so that what will happen i will tell you git in it so once you have done you can see git has been successfully initialized in this repository means it has been uh, uh, divided into three uh, uh, stages uh, means uh, now you can see uh, it will have work directory it will have a staging area along with that it will have local repository so you can see also along with that whenever you will initialize you will get a dot git named a hidden folder correct so first step was you have initialized the git now next step is let's create a file um, so this is my file and let me enter some value here hello git and let's okay so let me see the content of the file okay so this is your file this is suppose this is your code uh, in which you have wrote all these lines of code and uh, you have you are ready with your code to send to the staging area now right so before that if you will do now because this is a git uh, your repo right uh, this is your current working directory right so you have some untracked file here like you have not yet staged means it is a uh, it is a untracked kind of file so how you will see it is untracked or not so if you will hit git status so you will come to know like see this file is untracked right so for that to make it a tracked file you have to git add and you have to provide the file name either you have to provide the dot so we will see that but whatever file you will not stage in this area means wherever you have initialized your git means this sample web app it will be untracked right so let me go ahead and let me uh, stage this so how we will do that git add and dot so dot means basically all the file present in this uh, working directory you have to uh, stage right you can directly provide the name like you can ju you just want to uh, stage this file so you can directly provide the name as well so okay so once this is done and you will try to check the status of the git now you can see it is a kind of uh, means a tracked file now it's turned into green now okay and this is ready for commit okay so once this is done let's just go ahead and uh, let's just commit this file to our local repo first so what is the command that is git commit hyphen m and provide the uh, some feature like uh, something first file so hit enter so you can see 
one file changed and and one insertion so once you will get this uh, let's just go ahead and let's just see the status again so now you do not have anything to comment right this is uh, now this tree is fully clean so this is done so now once you have done the uh, commit here means it a copy of that has went to, to your local repository so like we have seen right three stages so first where we have written the code that was our working directory then after writing the code we have a uh, staged this by using git add command that came to our a uh, staging area once we have a uh, commit the code it has it has went to our local repo so now uh, this will not be uh, seen by our uh, other developers right because it is in our local itself correct so if you will do so see if you will try this command git log it will show you how many number of commits you have done till now so you remember right we have configured this user as well right so you can see this is the author and with this email id has done this commit so if you want to show if you want to see like what he has done in this commit so you have to uh, do like get show along with that you have to provide the some character of your this commit id so once you will hit enter it will show you what are the contents uh, you are trying to uh, send uh, you are trying to save right so once this is done now your task is to push this code to the central repository so that it will be visible to your other developer right so for that what you have to do you have to add the remote as a origin so hit remote add origin so origin is nothing but basically the url of your uh, github repository so one second okay okay so this one uh, this repository i have created so you can see this <clears throat> so this uh, this is the url which i am going to add and for this url i am not going to use this long url again and again right so for that what i have done i have just given it a short name that is called origin so where whenever i want to access this long url now i will just uh, check from this it can be anything it can be your name even like it, you are providing this just to uh, remember like for which url uh, this uh, name belongs to correct so just hit enter so you have added it so once you have added this origin let's just go ahead and let's just uh, push our code to the uh, our repository so what is the command git push and along with that which link this is the short name of your link and along with that which branch do you want to push so once you will do it will ask you for the username of your github account so that anybody can't push right first they have to authenticate then only they can push to this repo right so this is the username and here i am giving my password that i won't tell you okay so here we will get some issue so this issue is coming basically you can see on august 13 2021 github has updated his policy and we can't use now a username and password uh, for accessing the resources and all so for that what we have to do we have to uh, this generate this personal access token correct so let's just go ahead and uh, generate this personal access token so just go to your repo okay and here you can see in your profile section you have this option of setting just go to settings in the left side you will scroll down you will see developer setting just click on that and here you can see uh, you have option of personal access tokens just click on that so right now i do not have any tokens so just click on generate new token and here you have to validate your account once again so once you have done okay so here you have to name it right so i'm giving it get login this is my note and here i'm providing all the accesses to it just so based on your project need you can uh, select but for this case i'm going to use everything okay so once this is done just click on generate token so okay so fine this is our 
token now right so just copy this and save it somewhere mm. again go back to the git server and here again try to push it will again ask you for the username just provide the username and here instead of password now you will provide the access token which you have generated just now so just provide it hit enter so you can see now it started correct so let's just go ahead and verify it now so this is our app okay so first file added right the commit name we have gave there it came here as well along with that if you will click on that you can see hello git this is the code uh, which has been done by first developer is displayed here right now see i push the code to the github account and it came here and now the scenario comes like how the second developer will start working on the same code right so again let's see this is the second developer i am using this vs code editor here so what i will do so first here the first second developer will do what he will just add the same like git remote along with that he has to provide the repo right on which he is also working correct so he will just go and take the url okay so i will just copy this git remote add origin and this hit enter so you can see uh, this is not a git repository right so why it is happening because you have not initialized here the git so this is my new project uh, so here also you have to initialize the git once you will do it is initialized as the empty repo now so now you just go ahead and let's just do the same code uh, that is git remote add origin just hit enter and now it is added so the second developer will first do what he will try to pull all the code from github so that he can see what are the changes has been done to the repo what are the latest code commit has been done so he will just do what get pull origin and the branch name now <gasps> sorry so once he has done that you can see here i have got a my file with the same name if i will click on that i am getting the same message right so along with that you can do get logs So this is the author which has committed these all things we can see right from this so you can do one thing if you if you will have uh, some uh, sometime various number of commits so it will be full right the your terminal so what you will do you will just do git log hyphen hyphen one line so in one line now you can see all the changes has been done okay along with the commit right so again I, once he has go, got the code here so what he will do he will add uh, so, uh, his code his part of code um second part of so once he will save this code and what he has to do again he has to uh, if you will try to do like git status now So you can see right something you have modified but it is untracked so what you have to do you have to stage it git add so once you have staged it you can see the status again it has turned into green now what you have to do after the stage you have to commit this file right so git commit hyphen f 
changes done. So it has been saved to the local repository, right? So now the second developer will push the code. So do not forget to uh, configure the same user here as well, right? So correct. So you know, right? We have configured like git config hyphen hyphen global username, correct? So that also you have to do. So let me do that also so that we can see the changes. Uh, which who has done which changes so for that what you have to do you have to just type the command git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name here the name is this and here what i will do i will just type the name as and here we have to provide a email id for that so once this is done let's just go and see the list so you can see the user list here mm, this. okay so this this was the username and email uh, which we have configured right so let me come out of that so now he will push the code right so git git push origin and the branch name that is master so just hit enter So it has been pushed to the repository now go back again let's refresh the same so you can see you are getting the commit message like some changes has been done and if you will go there you can see i am the second part of the code right so again if you will come to this server okay so first so see right now i will see the log okay So sorry, first you have to do what you have to go to the shared application where you have initialized the git. So here what you will do, you just want to see the logs, right? If you will hit enter, you will see you are getting just one log, right? Because right now it, uh, it uh, the log like the commit, the latest commit commit done by the second uh, user is not reflected here, right? Because you have not pull, pulled the latest changes from the git. So for that, what you will do again, git pull origin master. So once you will do and hit enter, again run the code, git log online. So you can see some changes has been done, correct? So that all that you can see if I will remove this. So now you can see who has done the changes you can come to know by uh, using this so it for correct and this is the one uh, this is the one commit uh, which has been done by us and this is the second commit which has been done by the sec other developer right so like this we can make use of uh, commit pull push from github so in the next session we will see how we can make use of git ignore so thanks for watching